5 cc, 1 cc, and 31 gauge bubble. How many you got there? The pressure. About 100? Yeah. How many people that for? How many people that for? It's the size of the barrel. As a volunteer, your first job is to make sure you're safe. Okay, so that means that you're not in the way of getting any needle sticks, not, none of them dropping. If someone drops something, let them pick it up. Everyone that comes here is an injection drug user. This is user friendly. That, you know, like everyone here is an addict. They're going to get you know, like respectful treatment. You doing okay? Yeah. I was still so professional when I put these gloves on. What do you mean? Like I'm like I'm about to do something important. This shows I'm a doctor one day. <laughs> you paid fifty dollars for four grams? For two grams. For two grams. hundred dollars for four. Yeah. So what you so you do you do a hundred dollars a day? Yeah. Four grams a day, that's a lot. It's a lot, huh? Yeah, you, 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 you must be making them so rich. They must be so happy to see you. <laughs> see, here he comes. He's scary. He's, he's coming. Her entire uh, forearm and her hand is swollen, especially when compared to her uh, other hand. Yeah, look at that. Not real good. Yeah, and I've been trying to take care of it as much as I can. Uh, um, but the fevers is is what keeps them, keeps them alive, the fevers I've been getting. Okay. Um, are you using a clean needle every time you inject? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. This was a mess. Yeah. Um, okay. So what are you going to do about it? Otherwise, you're going to continue do having these. Are you interested in getting off? I'm hoping, yeah. What's that? Are you going to help me with this? <laughs> yeah, okay. Do you know where you can get help for your, uh, your heroin? Yeah. Where? I do. There's a few places. Okay. Where... Give her the green sheet. It'll list all the methadone clinics that you could go to. Okay. Okay, let's take your hands away. How long have you been using heroin? Six years, seven mm -hmm. years. Have you ever tried getting off? Mm -hmm. I started like, after my dad passed away. Okay, no more squeezing, no more squeezing. When you, when who passed away, your father? Yeah, 2011. Give me, open that. It became very easy. <laughs> it what? It came, it became very easy, but. Yeah, I know, it usually is, it's very, especially at first. You're on methadone. Good 40. for you. How, how many milligrams? 40. Good. And that's holding you? No withdrawals? No I've been there for three years since Obamacare is... No quit. Oh, good for him. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. He's taking because care of Because I was paying before that yeah. $7 a day. Different life, huh? <laughs> it is. The big thing about hepatitis C treatment is you have to have stopped using, which you've met that requirement. I usually, when I'm talking with my patients, is um, somewhere between six months to a year. The reason why is that the, the treatment's real expensive. It's ninety-four thousand dollars. So you go back to Clinica Sierra Vista. You, you Two tell month them, waiting list. It doesn't yeah. matter. Hey, you know how long? Have you, so how long were you? How long were you using? How long were you using? Since I was sixteen. In, intravenous. I overdosed. I used to do a half a gram shot. And now three you times a day. Stop. I was on ninety th milligrams, and then I got down. I just left that shit. No more. Okay. Okay. You've had blood pressure? Not that I know of, but I have been having a lot of heat flashes. I thought maybe I was going through the change of life, considering I haven't had like a period in four months or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to take your blood pressure again, okay? Is it really that high? It was. 155 over 117 with a heart rate of 110.
That's pretty high. So that's pretty bad. That could hurt your kidneys. Oh, that really? Could kill your heart. Uh, okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Did I scare you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I want to make sure that you understand that this is really high, okay? <laughs> yeah. That's why I'm doing that. And the main reason for it, I, it may have been because you used today. How long ago did you use? A long time ago. How long ago? Hours ago. How many? Like a couple of hours ago. You used two hours ago? I had two cups of coffee today, too, though. I think you know, the coffee does, you know. And you smoked it? Yeah. And your blood pressure is pretty high. I wanted yes, to let you okay. know. Okay, okay. And that's, and you, and I overheard you used recently? Yes, um, you did. A couple of hours ago, yeah. Okay. Is that common to be that high after using a couple hours? Okay. Yep. And drink coffee it, it, puts too, you right, it puts you right into um, a very dangerous zone. zone. Yeah. I'm you're marginally. You're ready for a stroke. I gotta quit. Yeah. It freaked me out when did, he told quit. me. It freaked me out so bad. My wife didn't deliver you, baby. <laughs> she did. Okay, now I remember you. Okay. He's 14 now. Huh? He's 14. No kidding. Yeah. Oh, I see time flies when we're having fun. Ramirez? Claudio Ramirez? He's sitting there. Okay. He's the one right before you. Oh, do I not? Do I not? It's all I have. It's my only music. Let's bring this to emergency room. I don't have things here that... Why don't you... Why don't you call an ambulance? Huh? Why? Why? If you go in, they're gonna nab you. Is that what's going on? Oh, that's not good, my man. You gotta. You, you got what? I'm putting a needle in there with lidocaine medicine, my man. Don't move. Baby. What about sleep medicine? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, oh, the um, the plastic. Hold still. Okay. He, he's just count, he's, I have one more left. He needs one more. Ready? Yeah. Breathe. Oh, bit. You're good. Okay, we're done. I'm just trying ah. to. There we go. Oh, it didn't no, stick. Ah. No, we're good. Nothing like yourself. What? No, you're what, not, you not going to work today? You want me to write you a doctor's note saying too fucked up to go to work? I never heard Dr. Lasher cut. Some, someone did not like you. You're lucky you're alive. What do you use? What don't I use? That's a smaller okay, one. Okay, I can see that all okay. over your face, yeah. So you use a meth? Um, yes, but instead of stereotyping me, can you okay. actually see me as a patient? Okay, I'll just, listen. Just because she does drugs, I'm going to say that's why I, she has all her problems. Okay, I'll okay. listen. You, you gave me antibiotics. Um, oh, I remember. Now than before. Okay, and okay. I haven't been touching it. I haven't been messing with it or anything, but it's, just, it's really bad on my hands. Okay, okay. I might have to just get you into a dermatology clinic. It's okay. going to be a long time. What do you mean? What's going to be a long time? Months, months. But we'll but we'll start with. What um, do you mean months, 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 months? What? Getting into dermatology clinic, the referral, and say we'll we'll try to get the closest appointment possible. Uh, I'll yeah. call and make an appointment then. No. You won't get in. Why? Don't get, that's Why they don't they don't do that. They don't that's, do appointment. Who doesn't do appointment? Dermatology clinics? They do. How but about just a doc dermatology It has to be you have to be referred. You have to be referred in. Okay. What's your phone number? Do you have a cell number? Can't refer you. What's your social security number? I'm not giving you my social security number. What's your social security number? 106. Oh my god. You can't have this social security number. Okay. What the heck? Seriously? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you have Medi-Cal? No, but I qualified for it. Okay, let's get you uh, signed up for Medi-Cal, because they'll need to do that. Can I do that here? What? Can I do that right here today? No. Or um, do I have to do that? Okay, so here's Blackstone. This is Shields. So if, if you're traveling by bus, bus 41 will take you right right in front of there. 41. Okay, that's probably how I'll be going, too. Okay, so, and, and what, I'll do, what I'll do is I'll take you into, there's a, a little bus center, and then you just stay on it to take, or you get it over there by um, Manchester. Manchester, there's a uh, bus terminal. I told her the doctor's wife was uh, basic analysis concerning the, the county's responsibility to uh, injection drug users. He says, they've made themselves irrelevant. Right. 
concerning their health and their lives. And it's bad health, it's bad policy, and they're bigots, you know, when it comes to people that are not like them. Wait till, you know, they start seeing more of this affecting their families. Thank you for being so patient. Do you know what time? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Of course. Yeah, well, we're worried about you. That's why I came to talk to you. Do you know what time the buses stop running? Uh, I don't know. They, they run at a certain time. It's not that late right now. It just seems late because it's getting darker. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's making me walk like this, you know? Um, I definitely think taking the medication will help improve. I think so too. Do you want me to cut these um, tags off your arm? Yes, please. Okay, let me grab some scissors. Chronic, do you yes. mind grabbing me some scissors from over there? There you go. Do you want to keep these or do you don't need them? I don't know what for. This is from the emergency room, I believe. Yeah. Mr. Gonzalez. Yes, sir. So you haven't had your, you haven't had your blood pressure medicine in a long time. I haven't had it in a long time. Okay, I, I'm gonna get you started on one of them, but you're gonna need to be seen by a doctor to, to check to make sure that you're doing okay with it. Okay. Okay. Right now we're just we're just trying to put like a bandaid on you. Okay. But this is in 69 when I went to Vietnam. That's where I started smoking. Huh. Smoking opium. I was, only, I was 18 years old. E5, just got out of jump school. <laughs> Died out of what? Just got out of jump school. What, in the military? Yeah, I was 101st Airborne. Huh. I had. You, went from, you jumped from that, from uh, from the craziness of our, po our politics <laughs> to the craziness of, uh, so of, I, our, of our politics. I mean, yeah, this yeah. is all well, politics you know, and money. You know, the weird part is when I came home, people were spitting at me, throwing balls, bottles at me. I couldn't get a job. I know. They hated me enough. I thought, damn. Yeah. And when I, started reading the doc when I started seeing the documents, I could see why. I got to quit. It's kind of like, it's not costing me any money, really, but it's, it's costing your life. Yeah, kind of. I'm 68. Big pictures of Hey, we're, we're only a few months apart. Yeah. This one right here was an abscess over here. Right there. The nap, oh, right, right here was an abscess. And I did it. I waited until it got real big. Put hot packs on it, cut it, and started packing it. Uh, let's get betadine three times to that area. This is no joke. This, this, those needles, they hurt worse than anything in the world. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Take care. Thank I'll you. see you next okay. weekend. Okay. Okay. See you. Have a good night.